Hey guys, welcome back to Father and Son Investing. We're going to talk about three reasons today why you should start early and start now with your investing. Even if you're an old person like me, you can share this information with somebody young, a child, a grandchild, get them started. Again, three reasons we're going to talk about right now. Now these will be in no particular order, but reason number one, it will give you a chance to correct mistakes. Nobody is perfect. Everybody's going to make mistakes even with their investing. So what do I mean by this? Well, the younger you are when you get started, the more chance you have, one, to take risks, and two, time to make up for any mistakes that you make. Now, why is this ability to take risks as a younger person important? Well, risk is intimately associated with return. The more risk involved with an investment, the greater the return that should be expected. Thus, there is more risk involved with equities, and generally then equities will return more on an investment than something safer like a bond. Of course, the safest bond has generally been considered the U.S. Treasury bond that is oftentimes called the risk-free rate as well. And because it's risk-free or almost risk-free, the return on it is not as great as, say, a corporate bond and definitely not as great as investing in the S&P 500. So the earlier you start investing, the, risk, the more risk you can afford to take because should something go wrong, you'll have time to make up for that. Now, reason number two the value of compound interest. Now, while I said they weren't necessarily being presented in order of importance, this actually is my favorite, the value of compound interest. Let me give you some examples of what I'm talking about. All right, I've created a spreadsheet using the future value function. As an aside, if you're not familiar with how to do that, if you simply go to formulas and you can click here on financial and you would pick FV for future value. Now, Excel has made this really easy to uh, calculate. You simply plug in the numbers on a formula. In this case, I haven't plugged in the numbers, but the value of cells so that I can change these numbers uh, here and see how it affects value of an investment. So I have here two hypotheticals. We're going to take Mary, who is age 20 when she starts investing. She's going to put in $500 a month for 10 years at a rate of 8%. Obviously, the total amount of money that she will have put in over that time is going to be $60,000. The value of her investment at 8% after 10 years is a little more than $91,000. And if we look at the value at retirement at age 65 is what I've plugged in, she will have more than $1.3 million. Now let's take Jim, who's a little older when he starts. He's going to start at age 30. He'll put the same $500 in at the same interest rate for 10 years. And the value of his investment in 10 years, obviously, is 91000 again. Uh, but at retirement, the value of his investment is only going to be 626000 So just by investing the same amount, but having 10 years less of compound interest, he is less than half of what Mary will have. Now let's just alter the scenario a little bit. We're going to take Jim investing that same $500 a month, but this time, instead of stopping after 10 years, he's going to keep doing it all the way up to retirement. So again, after 10 years, he's got the same amount. At retirement, he obviously has more than he had if he just than when he stopped at 10 years. But look here, he'll have a little shy of $1.2 million. Now let's go back to Mary. She's going to have $1.3 million and she only did it for 10 years. But she had that wonderful extra 10 years of compounding. Even though she wasn't continuing to pay the $500 a month up until age 65, she will still have more than Jim. That is the value of compound interest. Now, Warren Buffett is kind of the king of compound interest. In fact, he actually started investing when he was 11 years old. So he described this as a snowball, the compounding effect. And he said there's two ways to get a really large snowball. One is to start early, and the other is to live for a long time. Now, we don't have a lot of control over how, much, how long we're gonna live, but we do have some control over how early we're gonna start investing. So imagine this as a snowball. You just start with this tiny ball, and over years and years and years, this just keeps accumulating more and more money, growing to a larger and larger snowball. Of course, the earlier you start, the larger your snowball can get. Now, this brings up something called the rule of 72s. 
If you're not familiar with the rule of 72, let's just talk about this concept. So essentially, it's a way of trying to figure out how long it will take to double your money at a given interest rate. Now, the rule of 72 only provides an estimate, but it's a nice way of estimating. Essentially, what you're going to take is the number 72 and divide it by the interest rate. So for instance, if you have a 10% interest rate, it will take you approximately 7.2 years to double your money. Now, Warren Buffett has managed to do really close to 25%. So you can see that he can double his money roughly every three years. And the more number of three-year periods that you have to compound, the more doubling you're going to be doing. So this is just a real-life example of how this works. When I retired from the military in 2015, I had started investing in about 2002 in something called the Thrift Savings Program. So it took me 12 years to get myself up to a balance of $125,000. Now, in the intervening six years since I retired, the balance has grown to $223,000. I've not put a single dime into this account over the past six years. However, it has increased by almost $100,000. Why such a big increase? Well, certainly the stock market has been doing well, but also the value of that compound interest from the money that I invested a long time ago. The third reason to start investing early and start now is to develop good habits. Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. Developing a habit of investing while you're young will do a couple of things for you. One, it will become routine that you will simply, when you get paid, Pay yourself first, have that habit, and invest that money. The second reason, and this is a big one, you won't be trying to time the market, trying to figure out when is the best time to put your money in. Just putting your money into the market is really going to be the best time. Over time, those peaks and valleys will tend to level out. In the meantime, that routine, that habit that you've created, will be putting into effect the compound interest. My favorite thing about this. Now let's go back to reason number one. Uh, allowing yourself time to make up for mistakes. Realize that you're going to make mistakes. I've made mistakes. When I first started investing, I had no idea what I was putting my money into in that TSP. I saw five categories and I simply put 20% into each of those five categories. I didn't know what I was doing. That certainly was a mistake. Uh, many people have said, don't invest in what you don't understand. But the key was that I got started investing and then I've been able to learn over time. All right, then just to recap, three reasons to start investing early. Number one, it allows you to make up for mistakes and allows you to be a little bit more risky. Of course, higher risk should equal higher return. Number two, the value of compound interest and the snowball effect. I gave you some good examples of how that works for Jim and Mary. And number three, creating a habit, being able to make that habit every time I get paid, I'm gonna pay myself first and being able to volume cost average your investments, not worrying about whether the market is really high or really low, knowing that you're playing this for the long game, and over time, you're gonna see that value of your account go up through the value of compound interest. I hope this was informative for you. Please, please, please share this with a young person in your life. Obviously, the younger they are, the bigger that snowball can get. Please be sure to give us a thumbs up. That's really helpful for the YouTube algorithm. And until next time, enjoy your investing.